Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today I'm going to make a cereal box collage based on the work of artist Michael Albert. What you'll be needing for this project is a cereal box or other kind of food box. You're going to need your collage paper from your art folder, which is just a white and black piece of paper. We don't need the label that says collage, so you can throw that away. So you can choose if you want your background of your project to be black or white. I think I'm going to do white for mine, so I'm going to put that black paper to the side. You're also going to need a scissor and a glue stick. Now last week we watched Michael Albert make his own cereal box collage and saw all the different techniques he used. So I'm going to use those same kinds of techniques to build mine today. My cereal box collage is going to be more of like an abstract design based on the original box. And I'm just going to cut it out into small um, pieces of all different sizes and shapes and rearrange them on my white paper to create my image. The first thing I'm going to do is with my scissors I'm going to cut the back and the cover off of my box. So I'm going to be extra careful because we are cutting like a cardboard material so you are going to have to press firmly with your scissor to cut these pieces off. All right there's my front cover and I do want some of my back cover. So I'm going to cut out both so I can use both. All right, for my design, I think I want the bee to be flying out in like a swirling pattern and then have the rest of the box kind of cut up and spread out around that. So I'm gonna start by just cutting out the little bee. And I liked the one that was on the back of the box since it was like a full bee compared to the one that was on the front of the box. All right, so that's my starting point. And I want him to be coming from like a swirl from the center and then have the rest of the Cheerios box design kind of around it. So now I'm just going to cut out my cereal box front into strips. And then I can cut up these strips in all different ways to create my abstract collage. All right, I'm gonna put the extra pieces to the side. And now I'm just going to start cutting these into all different random shapes and pieces. And I don't really have any plan here. I am just cutting it up in all different ways. And then I'm just gonna put it back together once I get up here. And I don't wanna necessarily put it all back together in the same way. I kind of want it to be a little crazy and to not fully match up together. And I'm leaving space in between all of my collage pieces because I don't really want them to overlap. I know Michael Albert leaves some space in between his, so I'm going to try and stick to that. I'm gonna take most of this yellow color and that's what I'm going to use to create kind of like a spiral design for my B. So I'm just going to cut this into little rectangles and then arrange all those little rectangles to create a big spiral.
All right, there we go. That's my big spiral coming out from my B. And then on the rest of my paper, I'm just going to cut up all the pieces of my box and arrange them like I did that top section to fill in the rest of the space. Alright, so I cut out all the parts of my box that I wanted and I laid them out on my paper in a way that I liked. Now I am going to go back in with my glue and glue down everything where I placed it now that I know that that is how I like it and then I will be finished. I made sure that I didn't overlap them but I also didn't want to leave too much white space where there were huge gaps of nothing. So I tried to cut my pieces to fit those little areas where I still could have fit extra pieces while creating my overall design. And that is my cereal box collage inspired by artist Michael Albert all finished. So I cut up my cereal box into all different geometric pieces and I arranged it creating a spiral for my bee to be flying out of on my paper. Once you are finished with your collage, take a photo or video of it and share it with me on Canvas. I can't wait to see the amazing collages you guys have made using all different kinds of boxes you have at home. Try your best, have fun, and get creative. I'll see you soon. Bye!